Hey guys, my name is Manuel Smith. I'm a singer songwriter, and this is Questions with Vox Music. First, one I want to say to you is hi, thank you, welcome. How old was you when you first started singing, and what made you love singing? So I'm, I remember clearly, I think I was around eight and I was walking to school that time and this was back in Ghana and I remember I just started singing this song Crucified, laid behind a stone and I started to cry whilst I was singing that and I was like, oh, what's, what's this? Um, so that's where I kind of developed a love for music because then I saw that it was more than just music like it, it was, it created this emotion and, you know, thing inside me so it started really when I was a child in, in Ghana Okay, so we know now that your love for singing start at a young age. When you wanted to join a choir or a church, yeah. was it one where you forced your way in or did someone <laughs> discover you and say, hey, come sing with us? Yes. How, did, how did you get there? When I was young, I just, I, I didn't wait for someone to tell me, come join or come do this. Yeah. I would jump in. If I was BV, I was, I would be the loudest BV. Like I'll make sure that I'm the most active one. Yeah. So there was something about me when I was young that made me stand out. So I remember within a few weeks, I was the one leading the choir, even at, at that young age. Mm -hmm. how, how was it? Did they respect you? They were like, oh, wow, this is an eight-year-old leading the choir. Yeah. So I know back home is different. Like, over here, you know, it could be okay, but back home, I know it's sometimes hierarchical. So how was that? Um, honestly, it was, it was crazy. The reception that I received from the adults when, yeah. you know, it would be like, let's say the, the children are doing the service that day. It was amazing. And I enjoyed, you know, that. From, from you know seeing people being blessed or feeling something when I would mm -hmm. sing, so yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and that, and that's, in that case as well, we will say now, how would you say, going from someone in the church, what made you want to go to The Voice? Yeah. And then say, I want to show myself to the world. So I'm, I'm someone that I've never been satisfied with just being in the church. Like yeah. I feel like people need to experience what God has put on the inside of me. So I was like, listen, like any singer, you watch The Voice, you watch S Factor, you're thinking, and you're seeing people sing terrible. You're thinking, I can do better than this. Um, so in 2015, I tried for S Factor and The Voice. They both said no. 2017, same thing. And I just thought, you know, forget it. I, I just can't be bothered. Funny enough, the following year, both of them reached out to me and said, we want you to do producer audition. So this is kind of saying to people that, if you fail the first time, if you fail the second time, don't, don't give up because then when I went on The Voice and showcased my talent to these people that I was watching on TV, Will I Am, Tom Jones, Jennifer Hudson, Oli Merce, like I was standing there like these, all four of them turning for me. I was gassed. I was like, yo, like, and they were all like trying to sell themselves for me to come on their team. And it was an amazing experience. So I'm glad I took that step. Sometimes I watch the videos back and I'm like, is that really me? <laughs> so like, even becoming a semi-finalist, how did that make you feel? Did you think you'll get that far? Or was it just, oh, you know what, let me come on here, let me try. And did you think, oh, let me try win this? So the, the African in me, the Ghanaian in me is very competitive. <laughs> yeah. You know, we don't go into any place and just think like we're here to participate. Like we're here to win, we're here to compete. Um, so I didn't think I would get that far, but I wanted to get that far. Um, so I remember making it to the semi-finals because I remember we the contestants backstage, everyone wanted to make it to the live shows. That's where you want to get to. Yeah. Um, so when I made it to the live shows, the semi-finals, I was like, yo, and I had to open up the show as well. So I was like, okay, I've already sang a gospel song. So the second thing I want to do is represent my country. So for when I did I Am Giant, um, I, at the semi-finals, I rapped in Chi, which is our local language in Ghana, and I was gassed when I was able to do that. Oh, we like to hear that, we like to hear that. So now with that then, after winning, no, sorry, after being a semi-finalist, yeah. you'll win soon in Jesus' name. Hey, yes sir, <laughs> yes sir, speak it. Um, what would you say, how would you say your life's changed coming out of that? And has it helped you with your evangelism and also you spread your word through your music. Yeah, um, it, it helped me a lot being on The Voice because in church, you know, not to say it in a bad way, but whether you're a terrible singer or a great singer, everyone just lifts up their hands and praises you. Yeah. But on The Voice, people are judging how good you actually are technically. So it gave me a confidence after coming off the show that, wow, like I actually have what it takes to be um, singing to the world and stuff. Um, so after that, obviously I've been traveling around and one of the greatest things as well was me having my headline show at the Indigo O2 
um, in 2019 when I came off The Voice and um, selling it out and having a great experience here. So hence why I'm back here again with Vox Music and yeah. listen, it's going to be a mad thing. All right, let them know. What, what, day, what day is the second show? So the second show is on the 27th of November from doors open from 4 p.m. No African man time. This is God's meridian time. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's going to be different from this show that was from the first one? So let's say the first one, you know, I was a boy. I was, you know, trying to see my way around it. But now it's like, I feel like I've grown as a man. Um, and this time it's like, we're coming in hard. We, we just like, production is going to be on point. People are going to see what they've never seen or expect from gospel music. We like that. So you called this um, one Skylight. Yeah. Break that down a bit more for us. All right. So Skylight is basically the window in an attic that allows natural light to come into a room. So basically, I see myself as that window that's allowing the light that God wants to bring onto this earth into these dark times that we're in. So hence why I'm calling it Skylight. So we're here to bring joy. You know, when, when people hear music, it can bring you to that place of, you know, hope and all of that. So that's why I'm like, Skylight, let, let the light come back in and we want to be the ones that allow the light to come through us. Of course, of course. All right, so we're going to ask now some, just some general knowledge questions yeah. for some people. So who is your favorite um, Christian artist? You can be a rapper, yeah. be anything. Don't give me Kurt Frank. You know what I mean? Everyone says Kurt Frank. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Nah, um, actually, um, this guy called Travis Green. Yeah. So I sang his song on The Voice. Um, he's got a song called Made Away. And the words, the lyrics, and some of the songs he sings is just crazy. And I was so um, amazed um, and humbled when I met him just a few weeks ago. Um, and he came and, you know, was congratulating me for singing his song on The Voice and everything. And now we became friends and that. So not only is he an icon, but now I've met him and we're cool just from exhibiting my talent to the world. Yeah, we light up. And your favourite song? Is that your favourite song? or? Um, so one of my favourite songs, I sang it in 2019 here at the Indigo. Um, it says, I just can't give up now. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy. And I don't believe he's brought me this far to leave me. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Apart from gospel, yeah. what artists do you like to listen to? Who would you say so, is an artist? And what's your genre? Yeah, yeah. Afrobeats has yeah. to be, you know, Afrobeats, I'm a piano, like yeah. I'm all for that vibe. It's, yeah. it's just, yeah. So for me, I love all of that kind of stuff. I love good music. Mm. So that's, yeah. So you said Afrobeats, who's your favorite Afrobeat artist? Wow. Um, right now, obviously. Oh, you don't need to give me a favorite. No, give me your top five. Top five. All right. Okay. So I'm from Ghana. So let me give them. We know the Nigerians are doing their thing now, but let me just. I think when it comes to Ghana, um, Sarkozy is one of the top guys. He's he's, he's a goat. Um, and then obviously when you come to the people ruling right now, um, Burna Boy, um, Davido, um, and I think there's some young guys coming up who are doing amazing as well. Wiz Kid, and obviously. Um, Kwame Eugene and these guys are doing yeah. things as well. So we, we'll just ask this one for both. Circular, non-circular, what artists would you like to collaborate with? Like, if you had your dream and be like, this is the person I would like to collaborate with, or peoples, yeah. who would it be? I think two people. Stormzy, yeah. Kanye. Yeah, oh, really? Okay, okay. Ask me why for both. Yeah, so, so Stormzy first. So Stormzy, I feel like with what he's done, um, grand music was, you know, not it was frowned upon yeah. so for me to headline glastonbury mm -hmm. and be number one from a genre that wasn't really encouraged especially in the uk is mad so for me i, I give props to him for that kanye for the fact that as much as we know he's got his you know um he's a creative genius like he's crazy when it comes to his music his lyrics all of that so i would love to do something with him definitely what is your favorite song from your catalog there um i'll say i'm sorry there yeah. Asoria there is basically... So people don't speak to you, how do you... What's yeah, that, so that Asoria mean? there means church is lit. Yeah. Um, and it's an Afrobeats vibe. Mm -hmm. So it's got Afrobeats, it's got trap in there. So it's, it's yeah, it's one yeah. of my most streamed songs um, on Spotify and all other platforms. So yeah, that's that's my favourite. Right, so a... We're about to wrap up. Just let the people know where they can find you, where they can follow you and keep get some more information. Yeah, so on Instagram is at Emmanuel Smith um, underscore official. On 
um, Facebook is Emmanuel Smith Tally, that's my full name. Um, on Twitter is Emmanuel Smith, and on YouTube is Emmanuel Smith Official. I always say the minute you type it in, when you see the Afro and the beard, that's the right one. All right, love to see it. All right, we hope to see you soon. Sell out show. Remind the audience the tickets gonna sell out. Listen, tickets are already out, and I'm collaborating with Vox Music this time around. So make sure you get your tickets straight now. 27th of November. Let's make history again.